High winds and rain caused quite a bit of damage in Itasca over the weekend. Neighbor Emerson Santos shared his video from Friday night with us. He called it fittingly crazy weather. And today's storm cleanup is still going on. CBS 2's Lauren Victory is live in Itasca with a look at some of the damage there. Good morning, Lauren. Good morning, Marissa. Well, an Itasca administrator says cleanup here is expected to take 10 days. That's because giant piles of trees like this that stretch above my head are across the village. These landscapers say they're booked solid with jobs in Itasca until further notice. Indeed, work seems never ending for homeowners along this whole section of Broker Avenue. 52 feet tree. Robert Suji's 40 year old evergreen toppled during the strong storm that caused all this damage Friday night. More than 60 hours later, he's still picking up the pieces. What work do you have left today? You know what? Uh... I got to get rid of those bricks and I'm trying to have, you know, uh, get rid of this stump. Across the street, Betty Kunich tidies up her daughter's driveway. She's grateful for the heavy lifting already done by neighbors. They were just sawing trees, getting trees off of the streets. It was phenomenal. A giant trunk around the corner still squashes a power line. Debris so plentiful here that Itasca set up a tree removal hotline. Uh, you know, I'm going to miss the trees because it's like shaved a lot of our trees, you know, the view, but you know, we still got some. Now the ComEd power map shows only about 15 customers still without electricity in this area. At one point, that was 1,260 customers. Also a good report from that village administrator. Despite all the down trees here in the village, no reported injuries. I'm Lauren Victor reporting live in Itasca, CBS2 News. Marissa. All right, Lauren, thank you.